Genomic testing is very new for healthcare, medicine and pathology. It's become possible now to read the DNA sequence of the entire individual's genetic material. Genetic and genomic testing is a type of pathology medical test and all pathology tests in Australia have to be part of an accredited certification process which is done to international standards. A part of that is genomic testing has to be analytically correct, evidence-based and it has to have clinical utility which means it needs to be able to assist the doctor treat the patient. The first step in genomic testing is sequencing. That's capturing a person's DNA. And to do that, you need state-of-the-art equipment, you need skilled staff, it's a very complicated process, and it needs to be automated so that we can get thousands of samples through the lab. A sequencing machine is basically a high-resolution microscope combined with some complicated chemistry that allows you to capture the linear order of bases within our DNA. Each of these machines can sequence a whole human genome within a few days, and that generates terabytes of data. The data that comes off the sequencing machines can't be used as it is. It needs to be analyzed and processed, and also annotated before it's useful for a genomicist or a clinician. The data is aligned and compared to a reference genome, and that helps us find variations in the genome. These variations are what make us different, but they can also be disease-causing. It's very important to follow international standards for these sort of processes to make sure that the data is handled and moved in a secure fashion. To be able to analyse a genome, we have to take a very large data set of about 3 billion data points and narrow that down to maybe one or two. So it's a very big scale problem and we need a lot of specialist individuals along the way to be able to solve that. What's really important for us is to be able to link the patient's clinical symptoms to specific gene variants in their genome. My role is to take tens of thousands of variants and try to understand which one or two of those variants is important for an individual's health or diagnosis. My role as a pathologist is to supervise the laboratory to make sure it carries out the testing in an appropriate way and to the appropriate standards. So we'll be taking the scientific evidence we have, we'll be looking at the genetic variants we find, and we'll be expressing that in a synoptic or a summary report in terms that the doctor will be able to understand so that they can apply this result to help their patient. We have medical specialists, we have scientific specialists, and we have IT specialists, and all of them contribute to the final medical report of a genomic analysis. We're only at the beginning of the explosion of scientific knowledge that is emerging about the relationship between genes and disease. 